Mm. Do you think one of the edge you had over everybody else was the biggest percentage of your focus was on one thing? I, I do. Um, at the time, I didn't really understand that. You know, basketball for me, the most important thing. So everything I saw, whether it was TV shows, whether it was books I read, people I talked to, everything was done to try to learn how to become a better basketball player. Everything, everything. And so when you have that point of view, then literally the world becomes your library to help you to become better at your craft. The world becomes your library to help you improve your craft, better yes. your craft. Yes, indeed. So because you know what you want, the world's giving you exactly the information you 100%. need to become better at it. Because you know what you're looking for. So would you when, you, when you size your peers up, how'd you size your peers up? Like if you're sizing people, I'm talking you're 13 years old, you're sizing peers up, what lens are you looking through your peers? So at 13 years old, I had a, uh, <laughs> I had a kill list. And so, you know, they used to do these rankings, so Street and Smith basketball rankings. And I was nowhere to be found, because I was like 6'4", scrawny, like 160 pounds soaking wet. So I was like 57 on the list. And so I would look at 56, 55, all the way up to number one, who these players are, club teams they played for. So when we go on an AAU travel circuit, I, I gotta hunt them down, right? And so that became my mission in high school, check off every other person all those 56 other names, hunt them down and knock them down. That was it. Get a target on them right off the bat. That was it. Very simple. That's unbelievable. Let me, let me ask you this question. You say, say I'm one of the guys on that list ahead of you and we play. What are you doing to get a feel? Is it, is your mind like, are you asking, let me see if this guy's better than me in this side and this side and this side? Or are you just going saying, I'm going to kill this guy? Well, it depends what year. So like in, at 13 years old, you know, I played the longer game because my game wasn't about being better than you at 13. It was to be better than you when you know, the chips are really on, on the line. So when you played at 13, I would size you up and see what your strengths and weaknesses are. How do you approach the game? Are you silly about it? Are you goofy about it? Are you good at it just because you're bigger and stronger than everybody else? Right? Or is there actually thought and skill that you put into it? Right? And when I'd play, I'd play to my weaknesses. I wouldn't play to my strengths. I'd play to my weaknesses. Because when you're playing summer basketball, there's so many games. So there's not a lot of skill work being done. So when are you going to get better? Right? When you're playing in competition situations, you're only playing to your strengths. Why? Because you want to win. Right? So what I would do, I was work on the things during those games that I was weak at left hand, pull up jump shot, uh, post game, right? So I have a strategy. And so then fast forward to when I'm 17 and my game is completely well-rounded and that player at 13 that I saw at 13 is still doing the same shit at 17. Mm -hmm. Now you got a problem.